I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to preach the good news of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friend, I encourage you as I share a message with you and I pray for you today. Be in agreement, connect in faith, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hi and welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry. It's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is indeed another day and it is a day to live to the fullest. It is a day to press on and it is a day to press in. Press on in that purpose and destiny and press in with your relationship with Christ and go to a greater glory. I tell you my dear friend, those who press on and don't give up are the ones who receive the biggest breakthroughs. If you want to be amongst those who receive the biggest breakthroughs, then you must never give up, you must never give in. Good things come to those who choose not to give up. You know, oftentimes people give up just before receiving the prize. And God is about to bless them, but they give up. I encourage you, my dear friend, don't give up, don't give in. Receive your breakthrough, receive your prize, and receive your blessing. God is going to take you to a greater glory and He's going to be with you. My dear friend, we're continuing today with part three of God's promises, and I'm going to share promises of God for more fire of God and more of the Holy Spirit. And uh, I'm going to read to you a few scriptures, but we're going to do things different as we've done all the other videos. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a time when we praise God, and as we discern His presence, then we'll go into a time when I read a scripture to you, share a revelation, and I pray for you. And I trust, know, and believe God is going to bless you. So in saying that, my dear friend, take yourself in your device, wherever you're watching me from. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can press in without any disturbance. And even as you go there, begin to lift up praises to God. Father, you are our God and we just praise you. We thank you for your grace. We thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your love that never runs out on us. And even today, your love is present. Your love is with us. You never leave us helpless. You never forsake us and you're with us through it all. We give you praise even today. You're with my dear friend who's watching this video and you shall never leave my dear friend, you shall never forsake my dear friend. I give you praise and thank you for your goodness and your mercy that is with us through it all. And through it all we know that we can trust in you and you will see us through. We give you praise and thank you for the full and finished work of the cross. We give you praise and thank you that even today you're doing something new. You're taking my dear friend to a greater glory, a greater level, a greater altitude. And my dear friend who's watching this video will never be the same again. Do miracles, signs, and wonders. And even as you do so, we give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My dear friend, I discern God's presence and I know like I know as we pray, God is going to bless you. Be expectant, believe for your miracle, and God will take you to a greater glory. Now, we're going to begin and we're going to go into a time of prayer. But as we start, I want to encourage you to do three things. The first and the most important is just welcome the Holy Spirit. Say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come in this place, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray and help me to press in. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement. And even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. The third thing, if you've got any prayer requests and you want me to pray with you and for you, simply go to my website, go to www.gabrielfernandezministries.org and click on daily prayer list. Fill in your prayer request, click submit. It's going to come through to me and I'm going to trust God with you. But in saying that, let us begin. The first scripture and promise that I want to share with you is from the Gospel of Luke chapter 3 verse 16. It says, John answered them all, saying, I baptize you with water, but he who is mightier than I is coming, the strap of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and in fire. My dear friend, Jesus is the one who is being referred to in this scripture, and he is able to baptize you in the Holy Spirit and in fire. Do you desire to have more of God today? Do you desire to have more of God's presence? Do you desire to be baptized in the Holy Spirit and in fire? Do you desire to have a fresh touch of the Holy Spirit upon your life? Jesus is able to touch you and even as we pray today, He is going to touch you and He will baptize you in the Holy Spirit and in fire. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we ask you for the baptism of the Holy Spirit and fire. 
over my dear friend's life, my dear friend, dear son, my dear friend, dear daughter who's watching this video. Wherever my dear friend is, touch, change, heal, deliver, and set free my dear friend, and set my dear friend ablaze with your revival fire. Do this for the glory of King Jesus. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. The next scripture we've got is from the book of Acts chapter 2 from verse 3 to verse 4. It says, And divided tongues as fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now, my dear friend, if you have been through the Bible, you know there are various different kinds of tongues. There are tongues of men, tongues of angels, and unknown tongues. These are mysteries, and only God can understand them. Of all three types of tongues, the most important type of tongue that we need to pray in is unknown tongues. Tongues where it's encrypted and you're speaking directly to God. Today I want to pray for you that you will receive the grace to speak in that kind of tongues. Father, right now I pray for my dear friend. Release the grace over my dear friend that my dear friend will be able to speak in unknown tongues. Touch, heal, change, deliver, set free my dear friend and help my dear friend to pray. Enable, my dear friend, by the power of your spirit to speak in other tongues, in unknown tongues, that they may be able to pray directly to you. And it may be an encrypted message that is not heard by the enemy and any of his cohorts. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' name, amen. The next scripture is from the book of Acts, chapter 2, from verse 17 to verse 18. It says, And in the last days it shall be, God declares, I will pour out my spirit on all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams, even on the male servants and the female servants. In those days I will pour out my spirit, and they will prophesy. My dear friend, do you desire to prophesy? Do you desire to see dreams and visions? Today I pray for you. Father, I pray that you will release the grace. Pour out your spirit upon my dear friend, that my dear friend will prophesy and move in your fire and your power. Let my dear friend be able to prophesy. Let my dear friend see visions and dream dreams. Speak to my dear friend through visions and dreams. And amplify the voice of your spirit within my dear friend, that my dear friend will be able to see you clearly and know that this is God speaking to me. Father, I pray that you will release the grace, even as you do so, that my dear friend will be able to read your word. And even as my dear friend reads your word, let my dear friend be able to distinguish what is your voice and what is not your voice. I pray this in Jesus' name. The next one is from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, from verse 26 to verse 27. It says, But when the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth, who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me. And you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Hallelujah. This is such a powerful scripture. My dear friend, the Holy Spirit is our helper, and he is with us, and he will bear witness unto Christ. He will help you to pray. He will help you to press in. Today, I pray for you. May the Holy Spirit surround you and help you. May the Holy Spirit help you in all that you do, in your family, in your marriage, in your relationships, in your business, in your career. May the Holy Spirit help you. In walking in that purpose and destiny that the Father has entrusted to you, may the Holy Spirit help you in the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. The next one is from the next chapter in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, from verse 7 to verse 11. It says, Nevertheless, I tell you the truth, it is for your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the Helper will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. And when he comes, he will convict the world concerning sin and righteousness and judgment. Concerning sin, because they do not believe in me. Concerning righteousness, because I go to the Father and you will see me no longer. Concerning judgment, because the ruler of this world is judged. Father, I pray for my dear friend, even in this time period. Convict my dear friend by the power of your Holy Spirit in the right way that they must go. Father, I pray that the power of your Spirit will comfort my dear friend and see my dear friend through every situation. Father, that conviction means the difference between us walking in the right way and us not walking in the right way. So even today, I pray for my dear friend that you will release the grace that my dear friend will walk in the right way and walk in the way that pleases you. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. My dear friend, the last but not the least scripture is from the book of Acts, chapter 1, verse 8. 
It says, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. That is so powerful. You will receive power once the Holy Spirit has come upon you. So even today, I pray for you, my dear friend. May the Holy Spirit come upon you and may you receive power to be a witness for Christ in all areas that God has sent you to. There in your community and in your surroundings, in your country and to the rest of the world. May God empower you even in the area of that purpose and destiny, that calling. Whether he's called you to be a businessman or a businesswoman whether it's called you to be a minister, a prophet, evangelist, a teacher, a pastor, whatever he's called you to be, may he empower you to do that because it is impossible to go out without the divine empowering. Father, I pray for my dear friend that you'll empower my dear friend even as your spirit goes out. Empower my dear friend to walk in that purpose and destiny and to make a massive impact. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, I bless you and I bless your family. May God surround you even in this time, and may he give you renewed strength and renewed ability to do what he has called you to do in the name of Jesus Christ. May goodness and mercy follow you now and forevermore in Jesus' name. Until tomorrow, for myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez, God bless you and goodbye. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video. If you are blessed by this video and you feel led to donate or to partner with us to support us in this work that we are doing, then you can do so through PayPal or Patreon. All the links are provided in the description. Until next time, God bless you and goodbye.